think it's safe to say this project has been one of my most ambitious builds yet. Once the fiberglass body came out of the mold, I knew we had turned a corner. Now all I have to do is steer the ship home and avoid going off course, if you know what I mean. We are on the home stretch of this project. You know, the majority of the fabrication is complete. We couldn't find anything that looked right on the car as far as taillights go. So Victor says, hey, uh, on top of every other thing you have to do, uh, just knock off a custom set of taillights that looks awesome. Taillights are really just winging it. You know, we've done so much model and mold making, I figure I'm gonna make a model off of our model <laughs> and build custom taillights. I haven't discussed this with Victor at all. He's coming over to check out what I'm up to. Hopefully there's no modifications. Ian, what's going on? Hey, hey, making progress, baby. Hey, sorry I haven't been able to come by. I've been so crazy busy yeah. at work. It's all good. This has been super busy on the interior, and I knew we didn't have taillights, so I'm making up these housings. I cut open the body, but I'm gonna make Frenchton taillight. The acrylic lenses, just like the bubble top, I'm gonna yes. heat up red acrylic, and then these will be the housings. This foam comes out, and we'll put LEDs inside. That's it, and that's gonna be nice. We'll fringe it in just a little, yeah, cool. and we're cool. Good deal. That's awesome. I'm telling Victor what's going on with these taillights, and I can see his mind is elsewhere. You know, he's all about the enhancement, the modification. He mentioned that after this body came out of the mold, there was still a couple things he wanted to change, and now I'm concerned because he's got that look in his eye. After it came out of the mold, I was really looking at it. The back was cool, the front was cool, but this open gap, I gotta fill this hole in, and what I was thinking of doing is go ahead and adding a louver so it'd be one louver, the next louver down, the next louver, all the way down to this point. I love the idea of putting louvers here. You know, my mind starts racing. I got a bunch of ideas, and it's really just about coming up with something tangible. I got all this aluminum left over from the, the grill and whatnot, so it's just eighth inch plate, right? That's perfect size. And it'll be like a set of stairs, which you're describing, just down, 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 all the way through, right? That's perfect. The only thing is I don't want it square. I want you to do something so it blends in with the supercar look going down and ties in. I'm leaving this in your shoulders right now. This is the realm I thrive in when Victor says, do what you want. I mean, everything's looking good. Remember that show that I took you to when we first started this car? This Supercar Sunday? It's in three weeks, and I'm hoping to have this done to show it off there. What do you think? Well, I mean, nothing to it but to do it, right? <laughs> now I can see why Victor's got a little rush about him, a little pep in his step. He's talking about this deadline he wants to establish. This is good news, because setting the deadline means we can actually get this thing finished. Uh, the bad news is three weeks is uh, three weeks, no matter how you slice it. So you can see the state of the car. You know, Ish has got a huge amount done on the interior. I'm gonna take the nose off. Your guys are doing the body work outside. See, there's a guide coat on the car. We're ready to primer this thing, like, tonight. But you gotta commit to no more changes. I'll commit to no more changes. I might enhance. I'll give you all the help you need on the body work and anything you need. Like everything else, I'm always running late. I gotta head out, so sure. looking good. Call me if you need anything. Cool, man. I'll talk to you later. All right, good deal. I'll build those louvers right now. Victor said he wanted louvers on the back of the car. He also said I could do whatever I want, so here we go. Everything about the car has to tie together. What I accomplish with the taillights mimics the headlights. I'm thinking front to back all the time. The chin spoiler on the front has this unique like sawtooth shape. So we're just gonna put some more of that on our car. First up, cardboard template before we do it in metal. Just a little bit more accent on that. That's a keeper right there, right away you know it. Thing is, I don't want to come off as like that dated 80s, 90s rear window louver style. I want something unique, something full custom, something high end, something classy, something money, baby. 
Putting this hardware in place, countersink the screws, it's really starting to look like something. I think I'm on the right track with this, but I won't know until I make a bunch of them. All right, four in a row. The concept here is I need these guys to seemingly float in space above each other, perfectly spaced in a row, and be strong. This is all about what it looks like on the car, so it looks fancy on the table, might not be right on the vehicle. Oh yeah, totally. That's what I was hoping it would turn out to look like. You know, it looks freaking, looks fast. It looks like a stealth fighter or something. I'm gonna make 11 more, fill up that space, bolt them together. I'm not gonna do any finish work until Victor approves, but I think seeing this thing full size is gonna seal the deal. I got both the taillights finished up, and I'm just working on finalizing this louver set. I really like this. I can't wait for Victor to see it. He didn't have any requests on how these were gonna be created, what they looked like, etc. so he's coming in cold. Ian, how's it going? I do a little metal work in my spare time when I'm not doing fiberglass for months, so I came up with this, you know, just winging it. That's called fabrication at its best. Look at that. This guy, again, went up and above what I asked for. I just thought the front spoiler had such a cool shape, you know, the Lamborghini chin spoiler, the air dam. I just used those three points and just shrunk it down. Brilliant idea. It's going to all flow together with the front to the back. Exactly. He's nodding. He's into it. He's digging it. I really just want to show it to him on the car. That's what sells it. Yeah, I haven't even seen it full size yet, so. Putting it on the surface of the car, there it is. You could tell, meant to be. Takes that giant negative space in the car and it enhances it. <laughs> wow, that looks freaking gnarly, man. Like real. Like an gnarly. angry machine. That matches this car perfect. Victor's not a man of few words, and he also likes his enhancements, and you can see he's into this. I'll yeah. put it on this hinge, that way it's like a hatchback, you know? That opens, you can get stuff in there if you need it, and it'll latch down just like the trunk did. Cool. Look at with the light that you put in. Oh yeah, I built those tail lights too. Let me show you what that's about. Also explain to Victor, I finalized these rear tail lights. You know, they're pretty trick. Everything's handmade. I put a clear lens explaining to him we can try a deep red or, a, or more of a ruby red lens, LEDs, you know, just discussing what it takes to wrap this thing. I have a windshield that I made that's out of polycarbonate, so that'll be the last thing because it's pretty fragile. I'll wait until the car is fully done. The body guys are working hard on this. You know, the deadline is close. So I just got one question. Any changes? <laughs> It's not that I'm not sure I'm looking at it and I'm just trying to absorb it all, right? Then he ends the sentence by saying, is that good? No changes. No changes, that's it. That's a first, ladies and gentlemen. He's committed. That was hard for me to say. Okay, we got results. He made a decision. I'm just rolling with that decision-making process. Let's get to the paint, Victor. Tell me what color it's gonna be. Well, you know, the mock-up was like a bluish gray, more of the blue. It looked pretty good, but I think I'm gonna go with a gray or silver or maybe a red or black. Uh, so <laughs> or somewhat. maybe a white, I'm not sure. Victor looks like he's just gonna stop. He's like, I think silver or white. And you know, we might have to paint it a couple times. He's back in his old Victor mode. He doesn't know what he wants to do. Test one was a bluish gray, but I was always into this silver because it's like classy car. But in the other hand, I might need to go orange and red or something crazy too. I'm not sure, We're got, the car's got a talent. Let's mock it all up, 
We'll right. look at it and I'll let you give me input on that so I could be decisive on that. As usual, Victor's default statement is, we'll know when we see it. The car is gonna tell us what to do. And I probably won't know what color it is. Victor probably won't even know what color it is until it comes out of the spray booth. I'll get with Ish and Lino to get this all finished up inside. Cool, yeah, you get on the fabric detail. I'll get on the primer and pre-assembly. And uh, you know, the deadline is upon us, man. I'm really looking forward to seeing this thing done and I don't even know what it's gonna look like, truly. <laughs> that has been kind of the enjoyment of this process since the beginning. You know, we didn't know what we were building. Thing is, onward and forward, no fear. At this point, it's simple, tight bodywork and fit up. You gotta get this thing in the spray booth. Making a lot of progress on this car, but sometimes it seems like we're going backwards. I got the rear louvers dialed in. Victor was happy, <laughs> right off the go. What a surprise. Of course, he's gonna change one thing. Victor's concept is we're gonna mimic the shape of the louvers, but create a fiberglass panel that molds into the body. Uh, in other words, the roof flows right into the louver. It's the first time we've ever made a car flow. So now if you look at the car from the side, this is going all the way down and it continues down. Yeah, now it actually, I think, puts it more into proportion. Yeah, our model never had louvers in the back, so the adjustment is uh, justified. I just never knew what was gonna happen in that engine area. I'm all on board with this change. You know, this car's gonna be better for it. It's a little more effort, but as usual, whatever it takes. Look at Ian, my roof. Oh uh, yeah, look at that. Look at I even smile every time it goes up. When I'm pissed, I just come to the car, lift up the roof, and then I smile. I guess because when I was a kid, my parents could never afford to buy me video games. So I always had like a little stick and I'd move the stick back and forth and throw rocks. <laughs> now I have a switch, look it. I have a switch here, I don't need the rocks anymore. As usual, Victor's got his people on this. So there are a number of teams ganging up in different areas of the vehicle. Ish is doing the dashboard and other interior panels and Lino's doing the stitch work and actually building the seats. Ish, this is what the seat's gonna look like. Nice. You know, he's gonna have diamonds on the seat, so what we're gonna do, it's gonna make like an insert. 10 inches the most. That's all I want, that's good, okay. Victor deals with Lino in his own way, but from what I've seen, the product they're coming up with is way more intense than the stock seats. You're gonna do this on the side, or what are you gonna do? Okay, that'll be good. Oh, that way it follows all the way around. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, what Lino's telling me is, don't use these seats because you're not gonna fit in the car. It's gonna be too tall, it's 38 inches, and I won't, my head will hit the roof. He's made these seats to be only two inches off the ground instead of eight inches off the ground. That's a good idea. Yeah, he's saying he made this indentation so I have room with my arm. Since I'm not a little kid anymore in the we're confined cockpit, he wants to give me room even though I'm not a big guy and I'm not a little guy, but I'm bigger than a little guy. <laughs> and getting bigger as you speak. <laughs> Lean on me diet, chicken, chicken, me chicken, no more of this. Chicken, I'll get skinny again. Okay, thanks. Ish is getting his first taste of the crazy. <laughs> this shop is, you know, trilingual in fact, you know, you got sign language, English, Spanish. Ya apenas viene y no quiero correrlo hasta que acabe estos sillas, no tengo tiempo. A little Swahili thrown in for good measure, you know, there's a lot of action in the room. I'm leaving the paint call up to Victor. It's a little stressful because he changes his mind and I've seen him paint a car back to back three times in a row. I think this is why Victor's such a successful businessman because he thrives in the final inning. You know, you see the baseball game and they're all waiting for that home run. That's what Victor's swinging for. He loves the suspense. I'm nervous. We are literally 48 hours out from the show. 
from this point on, it's all hands on deck. Everybody's busy. We gotta get this thing done. Got this car finished up and took it out for a test drive. You haven't been able to stand back and look at this car outside of the shop. You know, it's a whole different perspective getting it out in the real world. Surprisingly, Victor went with a white paint job, he used a little pearl in it, and contrasted that with all black details. Lino and Ish went nuts on the interior. It's completely hand-built. We left the stock gauge cluster, the steering wheel's there, special rocket launcher flipper switches for the nose to open and the roof to open, black rims, blacked out lights, blacked out the rear louvers also. Another last minute element was this rear spoiler. We made these side fins. They're made in the same way as the rear louvers. Last check off on this list was the shop inspector's approval. It's two paws up, no requests, no concerns. We took it out to this deserted row, ripping around, we just having a blast. And I said, Ian, you gotta drive this thing now. You got your top. Got your supercar, got your air conditioning. All I wanted was my top. This thing looks crazy, man. You, know, you haven't even it's, seen it driving yeah, down the wait street yet. Drive it's it. freaking cool. All right, man, let's check this I out. Check this thing out, man. That's the one thing I know, man. This hat is not working with that roof. Shut her down and cruise. All right, let's go for it. This car's driving great. You know, Victor wants to take it to the show. I want to see how people are going to respond. We made it out to the car show. This is the show that originally kicked off the whole idea of this crazy journey we've been on. The thing about a car show is it's literally a trial by fire. You never know how people are going to react. We've had a couple of our bills critique pretty, pretty heavy. So I'm thinking, what are people going to think or say about this car? We made it, dude. It's here. Sometimes you can take a car to a car show. People walk right by it, don't even pass a second glance. This car has the exact opposite attraction. We haven't took it to first day out. We just finished it up last night. Victor's concept of the roof opening, I mean, that's the number one. That's the ointment that catches the flies, so to speak. <laughs> Once I parked, lifted the top up and get out, people just came around the car and like, what is it? And at that moment, I said, I don't know. It's really difficult to explain to people in the parking lot uh, what happened here, you know? Trying to go through this elaborate explanation, we ended up just saying it's a concept car. We made it. We got a Porsche box, it took all the skin off. We molded the whole car and then laid it in fiberglass. And then Dustin, the promoter of the show, came up to us and we explained what we had done and he was kind of like, wow. We came to the show six months ago. We were inspired by the supercars. We built hot rods. They said, hey, let's build ourselves one. And this is what we, we still need a lot of detail, but. Apparently, he was inspired by coming here, which is one of the reasons I do it. And I just hope that everyone can look at that and follow his example and say, you know what, I want to create something. I want to do something different. I want to go for it. And that's the embodiment, in, in my opinion, of the car world, the car scene, is that you can do it if you go for it and you take that step. So I think it's awesome. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, that thing came out pretty good. Oh, clean. you got your camera out again. That means yeah. you're satisfied. Yeah. No more changes, right? I could honestly say the car will not change concept. It may change colors. <laughs> you got the button. All I wanted was the roof, man. You Congratulations. Did it, man. I don't know what the heck we're going to do next. Well, in the car world, hey, there's still boats and airplanes. Right. I've always wanted to do a submarine or a helicopter, so let's just quit this car thing and get onto the spaceships. From the onset of this request by Victor, I was concerned. <laughs> he starts off with this Sterling. Yeah, huh? and a dream of a supercar. Shows up with a Porsche and 10 billion crazy requests. All through this whole process, you know, it's been a huge roller coaster ride. <sighs> Me not knowing when to get off. <laughs> wow, that's rad, man. And Victor just knowing that there was a finish line. I'm 100% satisfied and actually, I see Ian is too. Because normally most builds, okay, cool, what's next? This one, he's like, you know, his ears moving. Woo -woo -woo -woo, like, on this one, I never see them do that. I never knew what the car would look like. Just looking back on the amount of design work and uh, the amount of effort in Ian's part, that he finally realized what he achieved. I mean, this was a task that not many people could pull off. Yes. And he did it.